Welcome to the Web Search Skills Learning Series offered by the Association of Internet Research Specialists. You are watching Volume 5, Unit 2 of 3 Parts. My name is David, and I will be talking about the Google Search Operators, the in-text and all-in-text commands. To understand the function of in-text and all-in-text better, we need to learn the content arrangement of a web page. A web page is designed for the common user viewing and appears to have a content layout shown in the illustration. A typical HTML page is separated into two distinct portions from a design perspective. The top portion is the header shown as A, and the rest is the remaining body of text shown in B. On the other hand, the search engine only reads the HTML coded text embedded in its meta tags and non-meta tags. Both operators, the in-text and all-in-text, reads and match words held inside of the header meta tag of description, shown in C, and proceed to query within the rest of the body of text and content tags listed in D. Notice that non-meta tags in D embody textual content contained in heading tags H.1, H.2, to H.6, and the image text and tag, IMG, and tags like P for paragraph texts, and so on. In short, the in-text and all-in-text searches scour through the deeper textual content layers. It acts differently from the in-title operator, which limits matching words in the meta tag of the title within the header area. Moving on, we will examine how the description element of a snippet pulls and displays text with in-text and all-in-text operators. In the illustration, notice that in C, the in-text query read through the HTML in the H2 heading tag and found the matching term web search certification. A portion of the web page displayed in B shows the appearance of words as heading lines for the users to view. In the snippets view, A, the description element, displays the matched content in the emphasized text line. Seems too complicated to understand. Then let us try another search example with the in-text operator. In search query example, a, we used three instances of Google Operator in text, each with different search terms, as shown. The objective is to find pages that contain all three matching terms anywhere in their body of text. A returned snippet, B, brings a text match emphasized in the description element, C, which is a location where the in-text brings matched terms for display and presentation. Notice in the format of the description presentation that the term Internet Research Specialist was found in, say, the first paragraph of a long content page. This is also denoted by three dots for each pair of break. The second term, Online Research and Business Intelligence, is pulled from pair four, and the third term, CIRS Certification, was found in pair two of the same page. And again, both pairs are indicated by three dots separating each one. Remember that not all in-text queries are able to display multiple search terms because of the limitations on the number of lines or the scattered terms the description area real estate can accommodate. Therefore, in case you don't find all the in-text terms in the snippet, be sure that the rest will show up on the landing pages. This ends our video on getting a conceptual understanding of how the Google operator in-text can be used and where exactly it works on the HTML pages. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another educational video in this series of web search skills. And don't forget to visit us at www.afears.org.